is above us. Safely. Oh, good. It looks as if she wasn't collared like the other dragons. The thing must be worried sick, wondering what happened to her egg. For what it's worth, she doesn't seem to have spotted us yet. Repairer. her eyesight is. I beg your pardon? I don't imagine the poachers fed her well, and from a distance we probably look exactly like people. Hebridean's love sheep. What? How lucky for us. <laughs> I'm starved to pick off a grab horn. Or just raring for a fight. Quiet, what was that? Ask me. I don't suppose she listened to reason. I've normally tried, but we're well past that. If we can get to that, we can get to the mess. She's leaving! Quickly! Brilliant. There's the nest. We're almost there. Why is every bridge here broken? Repair it. Now, if we just return her egg, we can hopefully make it out without too much fuss.
That was brilliant. And did you see how clever? She left us perfectly unharmed. Creatures are a lot cleverer than most people realize. That's what Gran always says. The important thing is that we survived it. And we returned her egg. Thank you for doing this with me. Wouldn't blame you one bit if you wanted to head back to the castle and never think about dragons again. Shall we head back? I'm ready if you are. I am. After our dragon rescue at Hauntel Hall, I half expect to be ambushed by poachers any time I'm not in the castle. Understandable. We did sabotage their fighting ring and steal a dragon egg from them. True. True. So why haven't they come after us? It's not like them to let things lie. Unless... Unless what? Unless they haven't let things lie. Oh no, I can't believe I didn't see it. We need to leave. I need to send an owl. How could I have been so blind? We should speak with Mr. Bickle's friend. 